I invaded a city with concrete Lego inspired people. But why? And how did I go from this, to this, to... well we'll get to that. And what craziness happened after I put them out? And Lego inspired concrete minifigures had been popping up across Aberdeen. Well this story starts three years ago when I saw this reddit post. And combined with inspiration from one of my favourite street artists, Invader, who has put out thousands of tile mosaics across the world, I knew I needed to do my own invasion in Aberdeen, Scotland. But why now? Well I had a problem. It'd been over a year and a half since I'd made a video. I was stuck in a mindset that every video had to be bigger and better than the last. But I didn't have the time or the money for bigger and better. The result was I didn't make any videos. But I'd had enough, so decided to make what at the time I thought would be a simple quick project. And that's when I thought of the reddit post. So how to get started? Well I found a mould on Amazon and the next day it arrived. To begin I used Moldmaster Stonecast. It's really simple to use, I just mix 50 grams with 100ml of water and poured it in. To try and reduce the bubbles I vibrated the mould with an old sander I had but I'm not sure it really helped. After only half an hour you can remove the cast from the mould and here's what I had. They're reasonably strong and you can easily paint them any colour you want. If you're even a bit tempted to build some yourself, go for it. They're quick, relatively cheap and fun to put around the house, my family really love them. The only downside I have found is they don't hold up very well if left outdoors, although we did have some pretty extreme weather, and they don't have that nice concrete look. So I moved on to concrete. A quick trip to my local hardware shop, and I had a bag of cement and sand. I mixed it up in a ratio of one part water, two parts cement, and three parts sand, and poured it into the mould. I feel like I should point out this is definitely not a tutorial, just how I did it. I didn't know what I was doing at all. Anyway, after 24 hours letting the concrete set, here's what I had. I liked how they looked, but let's deal with the elephant in the room. This does not look exactly like this. So I decided to complicate the project and build my own silicon mould. That process started 3D modelling something that I thought looked a bit closer to the original and then printing it out. I tried to avoid overhangs, so I had to extend the arms, hands and heads all the way back. The reason for this is so that I could easily remove it from the mould. Imagine if the head was its normal shape, it would be very hard to remove. With the new head shape it will be a lot easier. I always had to make a little case for the mould to sit in, which I just glued together with some hot glue. Then it was just a case of mixing and pouring some silicon, which is something I've never done before. Six hours later I had a mould that looked pretty promising. To get it out I just worked around the sides with a butter knife until it came free. Now time to see if it would work. I didn't have the patience to wait for concrete to dry, so dive straight in using stone cast. A cool thing about transparent moulds is you can actually see kind of what it's going to look like. After removing it from the mould, here's how it turned out. Not perfect for sure, but I think a lot closer to the original. His hand especially wasn't great. Then to test out concrete. I mixed up a quick batch of concrete and poured it in. Fine tapping the table helps it to settle. And after 24 hours I had something. And then it struck me. If I could do that, then I could make moulds of other Lego inspired figs too. So of course I chose classic space to attempt first. I followed the same process of printing, making the mould and casting. And it turned out pretty good. Once I saw this my mind ran wild. The options for different figs were endless. It was a little bit tricky as any of the details on the fig need to be pulled up or sunk in and I didn't know how small a detail would be possible. Instead of doing a sensible thing and doing one mould at a time, I just got a bit carried away and did a load in one go. I also cast them all in one go with a watered down concrete hoping it would get into the details and show them better. The results weren't great, it varied from goodish to bad to just straight ugly. I had a lot of trapped air bubbles in the details, especially around the hands. There's a reason the moulds I bought look the way they do. So I recast them all off camera using a f the 3 to 1 ratio for the concrete. I also bent the moulds a bit and worked the concrete into the details using a toothpick. There was also a lot of tapping the moulds to try and remove as many of the bubbles as possible. And then I had to wait to see if they turned out any better this time. Thankfully they did, and here they are. I had the normal fig, then the spaceman, then I added the other classic themes of pirates and castle. 
then an old favourite, Merlin, or Magisto the Wizard if you're an American, and another classic, the Medic. A policeman to join the Medic, and as Aberdeen is a big oil and gas city, I did the old Shell and Exxon figs, and then added a sailor as well. Next were a pilot and a train driver, and finally a skater and a surfer. I tried to avoid any characters with small accessories, even so the skateboarder's board cracked and one of the knight's helmets too. Both were fixed just with a bit of glue. Generally older figs are easier to do as they have much less detail. In terms of size I ended up going for about double the size of a normal fig. It allowed me to add a lot more details than I otherwise would have been able to. Even at this scale it's pretty tricky to get them in. I had a load of the original mold guys hanging about so I decided to give them some colour. So I ended up with 15 custom casts and 15 from the board mold. Now all that was left was to invade Aberdeen. I started around midnight and spent the next four hours rushing about gluing. I tried to find relevant locations for each figure, the skateboarder in the skate park, sailor near the harbour, pirate near a park for the ship, surfer at the beach, the coloured guys in coloured places. A few days after I put them out, things started to go a little crazy. First I made a reddit post which really took off. People were so nice. And then there was BBC articles, newspaper articles, and I even ended up on the radio. How, how have they been received? Do people t snap pictures, get in touch? Yeah, I've been absolutely astonished by the level of interest. The feedback was so positive and far more than I had ever expected. Unfortunately, now all the figures have gone, but the good thing is I have the moulds, so I can easily make more again if I want to. So what did I learn? Start simple projects. You never know what they might grow into. I'm so glad I decided to build these guys. And actually, I've already completed another smaller project, which is a big heart out of Lego-like bricks, which I'm working on the video for. As for the concrete fix, I'm going to invade another city in the future. The only questions are, which city and which fix? If you have any suggestions, just leave a comment below. Anyway, thanks for taking the time to watch.